okay good morning and welcome to maths class my dear students today we are going to discuss some of the problems he given one of the trigonometric function and the ratio with the help of that one we can express remaining trigonometric functions that is uh, today we are going to discuss under that the problems are my dear students exercise 3.2 see here find the values of other five trigonometric functions other five trigonometric functions that is he given one cos x is equal to minus 1 by 2 x lies in third quadrant third quadrant x lies in third quadrant this is the problem my dear students now we have to express this cos x is equal to minus 1 by 2 in terms of remaining five trigonometric functions we can express in two ways that means in two methods my dear students that is the one is by using the formula that means maybe identity formula maybe reciprocal formula maybe a quotient formula but the second one is by using the ratios of trigonometric functions ratios of trigonometric functions see here. now 1 by 1 that is the first by using the reciprocal formula how sir see here here cos x is equal to minus 1 by 2 yes this is true how in third quadrant cos is negative we know in third quadrant cos is negative therefore cos x is equal to minus 1 by 2 from this we can write we can find out the reciprocal of cos we know reciprocal of cos is secant x therefore secant x is equal to secant x is equal to we know the formula 1 divided by cos x 1 divided by cos x from this 1 divided by minus 1 by 2 from this we can write minus 2 isn't it therefore second x is equal to minus 2 here i expressed it, that is the one of the trigonometric function second x from cos x yes now we have to express that is the remaining four trigonometric functions my dear students how sir see here there is a relationship between cos and sin through identity formula, isn't it? Sin x is equal to plus or minus root of 1 minus cos square x. Am I correct? This is, you know, one of the formula. Sin x is equal to plus or minus root of 1 minus cos square x. Yes. Now from this, since x lies in third quadrant, in third quadrant sin is negative. Sin is negative. Therefore, we have to take sin x is equal to minus root of 1 minus x square, 1 minus cos square x. Since uh, x lies in uh, third quadrant third quadrant my dear student third quadrant x lies in third quadrant therefore we consider a negative therefore sin x is equal to minus square root of 1 minus of minus 1 by 2 whole square if I simplify this one, sin x is equal to minus square root of 1 minus 1 by 4. Since minus square means plus 1 by 2 whole square means 1 by 4. If I take the LCM, I think this is 4 minus 1, 3. Isn't it? 3 by 4 with square root of 3 by 4 this can be written as sin x is equal to minus root 3 by 2 isn't it minus root 3 by 2 since x lies in third quadrant 
sin also negative my dear students that is we expressed secant and sin and also e given cos yes now by knowing the sin and cos we can express that is the tan now tan x is equal to we have tan x is equal to my dear students quotient formula isn't it tan x is equal to sin x by cos x sin x by what cos x tan x is equal to sin x by cos x that is the tan x is equal to sin x is minus root 3 by 2 cos x is minus 1 by 2 am i correct minus minus get the cancel 2 2 get the cancel then the result is uh, tan x is equal to only root 3 isn't it since in third quadrant tan positive third quadrant tan positive isn't it isn't it that means here we calculated that is the tan x if you know tan x we can calculate which one cot x by using the reciprocal formula therefore cot x is equal to my dear students 1 by tan x this is equal to 1 by root 3 since cot x positive since x lies in third quadrant the remaining the last one i think cosecant x my dear students here already we know sin x from this we can calculate cosecant x since sin x and cosecant x are reciprocals to each other therefore cosecant x is equal to my dear students 1 divided by sin x that means this is equal to 1 divided by minus root 3 by 2 this can be written as minus 2 divided by root 3 in third quadrant quotient is also negative thus we expressed five trigonometric functions that is secant sin tan cot and cosecant with the help of given trigonometric function cos are you understood this is the method we have to express that is the remaining trigonometric functions if e given any one of the trigonometric function as ratio as under the condition of quadrant under the condition of quadrant that is the here e given cos x is equal to minus 1 by 2 that is the x lies in third quadrant this is the one of the method also we can express by using the ratios how sir see here my dear student that is the another method for that we draw a triangle my dear students for that we draw a triangle right angle triangle this is an acute angle x this is another method no doubt this is another method x acute angle x my dear students if i take this is a b c b is on a right angle we know cos x is equal to minus 1 by 2 that is equal to ratio we know the ratio of cos x that is the definition of a cos x my dear students listen carefully adjacent side divided by hypotenuse side adjacent side divided by hypotenuse side isn't it that means this is the adjacent side how much one hypotenuse side how much 
true. Now from this, we can calculate AB. How, sir? We have the formula AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square. That is the according to the Pythagoras theorem. According to the Pythagoras theorem, my dear students. Yes. From this we want AC square means that is the 4 which is equal to AB square as it is since our aim is to find out that one plus BC square means 1. From this AB square is equal to 4 minus 1 that is the 3. Therefore AB is equal to we have to take here root 3. That is, this is root 3. Now we have to express 1 by 1 by using ratios. Isn't it? This is an opposite side. This is an adjacent side. This is an hypotenuse side. From that, 1 by 1 sin x. We know the formula. We know the ratio. That is, the sin x is equal to opposite side divided by hypotenuse side which is equal to my dear students opposite side is how much root 3 adjacent side is how much that is the one that is the opposite sorry hypotenuse side sorry opposite side divided by hypotenuse side hypotenuse side is 2 that means root 3 by 2 now we have to keep in our mind, my dear student, sign. Since x lies in third quadrant, in third quadrant what about sign of sine function? That is the negative in third quadrant. For that the result is minus root 3 by 2. In this case we have to keep mind that is the science of trigonometric functions since he given x lies in third quadrant isn't it yes next one is cos x and sin x tan x tan x is equal to my dear students tan x is equal to opposite side divided by adjacent side what is the opposite side here root 3. What is the adjacent side here? 1. That is the root 3 by 1. My dear students, we know x lies in third quadrant. That means tan in third quadrant positive. Therefore, the result is root 3. Are you understood? Next one is cortex. Adjacent side divided by opposite side. Adjacent side divided by opposite side that is the 1 by root 3. Since adjacent side is 1, opposite side is root 3. Therefore, 1 by root 3. Here also, my dear students, in the third quadrant, what is positive? What is positive? Isn't it? Therefore, the result of cortex is 1 by root 3. Next, we have to move on cosecant takes. You know the reciprocal of cosecant x is sin. We know sin. That is the hypotenuse side divided by opposite side. Hypotenuse side is, my dear students, 2. Opposite side is root 3. But cosecant in third quadrant negative, my dear students. That means uh, minus 2 by root 3. The next one is uh, secant x. The last one is secant x. We know reciprocal of cos. That means uh, hypotenuse side divided by adjacent side. Isn't it? Hypotenuse side divided by adjacent side. That is the 2 by 1. But in third quadrant, second also negative. That is the minus 2. Am I correct? Now, these are the six uh, 
trigonom ratios of trigonometric functions. This is the another method by using the ratios. But when I writing the signs, we have to keep in our mind that is the which rule? Quadrant rule. That is ASTC rule. ASTC rule. A means in first quadrant all are positive. S yes means sin and cosecant are positive in second quadrant. T means tan and cot are positive in third quadrant. Last one C means cos and secant are positive in fourth quadrant. Remaining trigonometric functions respectively quadrants all are negatives. That is we have to keep in our mind my dear students. Yes, are you understood? This is the second method. Any method we can follow. Any method we can follow, but by using the formula that is very, very important because of we need formulae in future classes also. For that, we have to do by applying the formulae, my dear students, maybe identity, sorry, maybe S identity formulae or reciprocal formulae or quotient formulae anyone by applying that one we can do that is the problems here. Next one my dear students sin x is equal to 3 by 5 x lies in second quadrant. second quadrant my dear students x lies in second quadrant this is one of the problem i am going to do e given sin x is equal to 3 by 5 x lies in second quadrant you know my dear students sin in second quadrant positive no doubt that is the sin x is equal to 3 by 5 that is the given result which is correct no doubt if you know sin x we can find out cosecant x by reciprocal formula. Therefore, cosecant x is equal to 1 by sin x. This is equal to 1 divided by 3 by 5. This is equal to 5 by 3, no doubt. Yes, this is the cosecant x is equal to 5 by 3. Since cosecant also positive in second quadrant, no doubt. Now, we have to move to find out the which one cos. Since we know the formula that is identity formula in terms of cos and sin. Therefore, now cos x is equal to one of the formula here square root of 1 minus sin square x. Which, which sign we can use here? Is it plus or minus? That is the question arises. Isn't it? And really now plus bulls back agutta, minus bulls back agutta, no question arise agya agutte namge. Hagi daga, x lies in second quadrant, what about cos in second quadrant? That is the negative, isn't it? For that we are, we are going to use, that is the minus sign. Yes, now therefore cos x is equal to my dear students, minus square root of 1 minus 3 square means 9 divided by 5 square means 25. Am I correct? Now, that is the cos x is equal to my dear students minus 25 minus 9 my dear students 25 minus 9 how much? 25 minus 9 how much? 16 is not it? 16 divided by 25 with root that can be written as 4 divided by 5 I am correct that is the 4 by 5 that is the cos x is equal to minus 4 by 5. Yes, this is the correct answer. How sir? Since x lies in second quadrant cos is negative no doubt and simplification of this one is 4 by 5. Yes. If you know the cos x, we can find out that is the secant x my dear students. Therefore, secant x is equal to 1 divided by cos x that is equal to 
1 divided by minus 4 by 5. This can be written as minus 5 by 4 because of reciprocal of that one, isn't it? Therefore, since secant also negative, in which quadrant? Second quadrant we know in second quadrant ASTC, that means sin and cosecant are positive, remainings are negative. That is the secant x is equal to this one. We express it that is the 1, 2, 3 in remaining 2 that is tan and cot. Now, we have to find out that is the first one is tan. How sir? By using the quotient formula that is the tan x is equal to my dear students sin x by cos x. We know the value of sin x how much 3 by 5 divided by cos x how much here minus 5 by 4 isn't it isn't it sick which one cos x sorry minus 4 by 5 cos x here minus 4 by 5 sorry that is the minus 4 by 5 because of cos x, not secant x, cos x minus 4 by 5, isn't it? Now, see here, 3 by 5 minus 5, 5 get the cancel, isn't it? Then we get the result of minus 3 by 4, as 10 is also negative in which quadrant? Second quadrant, my dear students. Now, we are going to find out that is the last trigonometric function cot x. We know cot x is the reciprocal of tan x that is the formula therefore cot x is equal to 1 divided by tan x this is equal to 1 divided by minus 3 by 4 which can be written as minus 4 by 3 minus 4 by 3 this is the method we have to follow to express that is the given one of the trigonometric functions using remaining five trigonometric functions s s my dear students okay this is the one method of the problems the remaining problem we have to do next we have to move the another method of problems are there see are by using the halide angles by using the halide angles what i give one see here that is the first problem my dear students First problem, my dear students, by using the halide angles. Find the values of the trigonometric functions. Yes, find the values of the trigonometric functions in exercise 6 to 10. We have to do remaining problems in exercise 3.2. That is the third one, fourth one, fifth one. What I explain on the basis of this method. Yes, next one we have to move on. Find the values of the trigonometric function in exercise 6 to 10. First one, sin 765 degree, my dear students, sin 765 degree, my dear students, we have to express this one, all of you. How, sir? I told in the previous classes, if the given angles which are in the form of 90 plus or minus, 180 plus or minus, 270 plus or minus x, 360 plus or minus x, we can write on the basis of what I given that is the three conditions, isn't it? If 90 plus or minus x, 270 plus or minus x, then we have to take co-ratio. 180 plus or minus x, 360 plus or minus x, then we have to take same ratio, isn't it? And also sign according to the quadrant rule, no doubt. Now we have to express this one as an allied angle forum, as an allied angle forum. How, sir? That means this can be written in the form of n into pi by 2 plus or minus x, my dear students. n into pi by 2 plus or minus x or n into pi plus or minus x. 
both are same n into pi plus or minus x or n into pi by 2 plus or minus x my dear students both are same how sir this can be written as sin of we can write 2 into 360 degree 2 into 360 degree my dear students how much if you simplify this one how much 720 isn't it plus 45 plus 45 yes if you simplify this one we get this one or if you expand like this we get the same result yes we know 2 pi 3 pi 4 pi pi that is the same ratio we get sin 45 degree my dear students sir what about sin this becomes i think 2 into 360 that means completes two revolutions 2 into 360 plus 45 means i think in first quadrant first quadrant all are positive no doubt first quadrant all are positive no doubt yes yes my dear students then sin 45 only what is the value of sin 45 already we know my dear students that is the 1 by root 2 this is the answer of value of sin 100 sin 765 my dear students or simply this can be written as cr sin 765 this can be written as sin of sin of n into pi by 2 that is the n into 90 n means cr here 2 into 360 in each 360 there are four 90s that means this can be written as 8 into 90 plus 45 here n is e1 then we can take same ratio that is sin 45 degree for sin this angle becomes in first quadrant in first quadrant all are positive no doubt then the value is 1 by root 2 that is you have to keep in your mind are you understood all of you this is the method you are going to use to find out the values are you understood all of you yes from this we are going to do another one my dear students cosecant to minus 1410 we know my dear students cosecant of minus x this can be written as minus cosecant of 1410 are you understood this is by using allied angle my dear students this is by using allied angle now this can be expressed as minus cosecant of 4 into 360 am i correct see here 4 into 360 if we multiply we get 1380 isn't it if we multiply here 360 into 4 1440 yes then this can be written as minus 30 degree i am correct yes i am correct yes now this is the minus of my dear students 4 into 360 we have to take same ratio yes that is the cosecant 30 what about sin 
this becomes in fourth quadrant how sir four three system means four complete revolutions but minus sign is there minus 30 means which becomes in which quadrant my dear students fourth quadrant in fourth quadrant what about cosecant cosecant is negative isn't it that is the case minus into minus plus that is the cosecant 30 we know the value of cosecant 30 that is the reciprocal of sin isn't it for sin 30 is 1 by 2 then the cosecant 30 is 2 this is the result of this one we can also express it this is 4 into 360 16 into 90 16 into 90 minus 30 16 is there same ratio same method same method yes are you understood all of you yes okay my dear the next problem my dear students the next problem my dear students listen carefully tan of 19 pi divided by 3 this is in radians yes e given this is in radians my dear students radians al kottidare now how can you split how can you write as here that is the tan of how sir ya tara bari bodu sir anta nimge prashne bandaga makale we have to keep in our mind 19 is there you can write 6 pi plus pi by 3 how sir if I take the LCM 6 3 is 18 18 pi plus pi 19 pi sir is it how is it possible sir if you divide 19 by 3 3 6 is 18 that is the one part you have to split like this are you understood all of you yes now this can be written as my dear students here 6 pi is there 6 pi plus pi by 3 Listen carefully. 6 pi plus pi by 3. How oh, sir? 1 pi, 2 pi, 3, 4, 5. Isn't it? See here. Pi, 1 pi. Yes, this is pi by 2, pi by 2. 2 pi. 2 pi means 1 complete revolution. 2 pi means. 4 pi, next one, 6 pi, third, plus pi by 3. That means it becomes in first quadrant. And also 6 pi, same ratio, tan pi by 3 in first quadrant. That is the positive sign. Are you understood? All of you, next tan pi by 3. What is the value of tan pi by 3? Pi by 3 means 60 degree, isn't it? Pi by 3 means 60 degree. What is the value of tan 60? We know sin 60 by cos 60. Sin 60 root 3 by 2 cos 60 1 by 2. 2 to get the cancel. The result is uh, root 3 my dear students. Yes. Are you understood all of you? Yes. Are you understood all of you? Yes. The remaining two problems we have to do yourself. This is the method. We have to follow to find out the values of the given trigonometric functions by using the allied angles. Yes? Are you understood all of you? Yes? Okay. My dear students, in the next class we are going to discuss that is one of the important derivations of what we call as compound angles formula. Compound angles formula in the next class. Yes, okay, thank you, thank you very much.